Hey, what's up, world, man? It's your boy, Don J. Local artist from Kissimmee, Florida. I'm with my boy, World Too New. I'm about to top it up a little bit about myself. It's Dre. You fuck niggas still not safe, man. I've been to you niggas out. Hold on. Yeah, hey. I come on the scene, but split for the guap. Mixing the lean with a little bit of pop. Me and the team, we don't fuck with the ops. Just had me a dream while getting some top. She looking on me, but I know she a thought. Won't come to little bitch, cause I ain't no cop. I need to get rich, I do what I got. He totin' them sticks, he never gon' flop. I just got me. So, you said what it was like shooting the first music video. Oh, yeah. for everybody who don't know, I just dropped a music video for my song called Stitches. Go check that out, link is in my bio. I will have all my social media sites on this video. Yeah. It was it was pretty good shooting that first video. Yeah. I feel like my transitioning and my energy with the camera is great. So I got it done real quick and I love the process yeah. how he had me walking down the block outside his community. Then like the transition of how he had it just switch from me outside to inside in a whole different fit. Yeah. So the process of that was, I love it. Like, I love the camera scene. I love shooting videos. I love acting out the visuals to my song. You know what I'm saying? Giving visuals to my song because I feel like you you yeah. commuting more, you showing more, you gaining more, you interacting more with your fan base that way, bro. So the video shoot was amazing. I got a lot of more heat coming. That was just the intro to it, man. I got a lot more heat coming. Yeah, so the music thing came about after my college career. I went Juco for a year or two playing basketball. Like I said, I thought I was going to the NBA, y'all. Man, that's really was the goal. I ain't think nothing about this music shit, man. I thought I was going to the NBA. It's just the, the work ethic is what got y'all thinking. It's worked in a dream all my life. But like I was saying, after my college career, after me going Juco, I came back home. They paid for me to go there two years. I couldn't afford to continue going there. Yeah. So I came back home, man. I was already like testing words with the music not really recording but i was still listening a lot and i was like listening starting to jot down my own little notes like hey i could throw that something on the beat i was just like still jotting but not being out there with it enough so when i came back home from college um i talked to one of my boys my brother joseph my brother free him free joseph man i talked to my brother joseph and he kind of motivated me and pushed me to, to do the music thing um he just he, he, he pushed me to do it and I, I stepped out there and I started doing it. And yeah. from basketball, music became my real passion and what I started grinding for. And like every day I feel like myself getting deeper and deeper into it. So like, I still feel like it's the very beginning. Like people yeah. tell me now, they, they see me working and it's nothing to me now because I haven't even did half of what I got planned or what's in store or what's to come. Like the sky is really the limit for what I got planned with my music. I still feel like it's a lot of work to be done. Like I'm hungry. You know, like I'm treating the same way I used to treat my basketball practices or my basketball games. That's yeah. how I'm treating these verses or these shows that's coming up soon. Yeah. Just stay tuned. Was I always into music? Yes, I've always been a fan of music. Did I always think I was gonna record music or become a rapper? No. <laughs> it was never the goal years and years ago. I would tell you guys the truth. I thought I was going to the NBA. Yeah. <laughs> It was never, but it was never a plan, but I always had an ear for music and not just rap music. Since a kid, I've listened to Mary J. Blige, uh, Keisha Cole, uh, who I think, Cupid, uh, what was it, uh, 112, Cupid, that was my favorite track growing up. I tell you, I know a lot. So I always was hip, like, to the upcoming rap music or whatever new, I, whatever was new, I always stayed in the wave of music. I always loved music, and I think that's why I started making music. Cause my love for it i'm like hey yeah. i'm a creator myself so i'm not gonna just sit back and be a fan for of it too long as as i the more music i endured and the more sounds i heard it just gave me that energy like yo step out there and test what is yourself and i believe in my whole heart that anybody can do that if you're really a fan of music you can go create your own music upcoming artists tips for upcoming artists I'm still an upcoming artist myself, so I still got a lot of work to do. But my tips for upcoming artists, I feel like the best thing we can possibly do is stay consistent. Stay consistent. Yeah. Dropping, if you're not dropping consistent, you're promoting your music consistently. Consistent, 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 and never give up, because even when our closest friends or families 
may think we should be doing something else or doubting what we're doing, we can never give up. We got to keep that drive. We have to have that drive because it's not going to happen overnight for everybody. So I feel like the main thing we can do is yeah. stay consistent, dropping, promo, hey. and just never give up. That's just the big things you do. And with those three things, like the sky's the limit. It's no, it's nobody, it's no, yeah. it's no way you can't make it with this music because it's 13 to 14 to 20 different sounds out here that's getting paid for this. So it's, you can't let nobody tell you you can't do this or you yeah. can't be successful in the music game. That's another, that's another key. You can't let nobody tell you you can't accomplish something. You stay hungry, stay hungry, like spend nights riding, spend extra days yeah. going hard, just like block out everything else. Don't go to that party. Go to the studio over here. Instead of buying them new J's, go pay him to uh, mix and master them new tracks you just recorded. It's like a process with this thing. And also, you gotta be ready to invest your money into yourself. You gotta be ready to invest your money into yourself. You're gonna take losses, you're gonna take wins. But that's the part of coming up in this game. Yeah. And that and that's just a few things I've seen so far working, uh, working with music. The next tape coming out. I really want to give it early 2020. I ain't gonna say what month, but like within the first three or four months in 2020, the tape coming. All platforms, yeah. literally from this point on, everything I drop will be on all platforms. Yeah. I'm sorry for whatever, it's not on all platforms right now, but everything from this point out will be on all platforms, literally. Yeah. I dropped the tape three, four months ago this year. It did good for me because I know I came from nothing. That's another thing. You set your personal goals, your personal standards. Don't look at your favorite artist that's on. Look at his numbers and compare your numbers. You know, you got to work your way up. He didn't get there overnight. He didn't get there within two, three months. Yeah. He didn't get there within a year. He probably in the game like 10 years. So you got to like set your short term goals. And I feel like with my numbers so far, I exceeded. I came from playing yeah. basketball, man. Can't nobody tell me nothing. So 30, 40 plays or views i'm happy two three people like these tracks i'm happy i'm gonna keep working like it don't take much to motivate someone like me so like any little thing give me that motivation to just go work and go harder like i'm, I'm hungry and i feel like everybody gonna see that soon goes 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 before 2019 and hey i gotta go i'm gonna drop another music video for y'all real soon that's a short-term goal i'm gonna drop a music video and another track soon and I might give like three more songs before the year and good songs with vid visuals on all platforms. Big goal. New music on all platforms for sure this yeah. year before the before the year end. That's just it's light. But and also also one more goal. I'm trying to do a feature with a local artist. Yeah. Get with me. That's a goal before the year end. I want to do a feature with local artists. I got the own beat. I want this track to be on all platforms. The local artists, if you're in Kissimmee, if you're in Point Siena, get with me. Yeah. And if I'm fucking with you, I got you. You're gonna rock out. Yeah. Word to the community. Actually, I'm gonna give a word, but I'm gonna give another word too. Yeah. Word to the community. Let's spread positivity. 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 Literally, if you wake up, and you feel that negative urge or that negative vibe, like literally stay inside and don't don't come outdoor or don't get on social media spreading that negativity. We need more positivity in the community. Yeah. I feel like for the youth, also for the elders, like a lot has looked at this generation, this age group bracket that we at now, we looked at, at a lot yeah. of what's going on. Like we judge for whatever wrongs that's going on. So if we just spread that positivity and love, It'd be a better place we live in there. Like, it wouldn't be like so much drama or violence going on if we was all spreading positivity and love. I'm big on positivity and love, and I and I and uh, the main main reason why I'm big on it because we all got younger siblings. We all getting looked at by elders. So like, I feel like it's best that we. It's key. It's key that we spread positivity and love, man. Genuine. Yeah. Everyone genuine. Spread love. You got negative vibes. Don't come around that positive crowd. You can, uh, one negative person can kill a positive crowd. That's, that's what's crazy about this. So like, yeah. my word is positivity, man. Let's, let's all be positive. Where can you guys find me musically? You can find some unreleased tracks as of now on SoundCloud yeah. under Dondre. 
if that doesn't work, I'll give you guys my full name, Dondre Rousey, man. I got a unique name, so I don't mind spreading that. Also on social media, Instagram, you can find me at It's One Dondre. It's number one, Dondre. It's One Dondre, man. Follow me on IG. I'm spreading all love. I'm following everybody back. Everybody that follow me, I'm gonna make sure, bro, yeah. put that link right down there. Cause whoever follows me, I'm spreading, I'm spreading love and positivity. Uh, Twitter. You can follow me at Twitter at It's One Dondre as well. It's the number one, yeah. D-O-N-D-R-E. It's One Dondre. Um, Snapchat, Success One Dre. Success One Dre. First time interview, cause me and my boy, we gonna run this back, man. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna give love and appreciate to my boy, World, World Too New, man. He, he been showing a lot of love to me, man. Like, ever since a few months ago when I first started this, he been showing a lot of love. And he also been showing a lot of love to all the local artists, not just me. So I feel like we all deserve him some love, man. Get with my boy, man. That's love. It's Dre. You fuck niggas still not safe, man. I've been to you niggas. Hold on.